So when I was in my 20s, the second near-death experience that I had was the one that got my attention. can't do it alone I need you to break my pride I never want to feel separated again the first lyrics to my song I can't do it alone I need you to break my pride I never want to feel separated again that's the first three lines of my song and Pretty much the whole, the whole process, the whole childhood to teenage to, to college age, I was separated because I ran. And so those lines, um, you know, obviously came straight from him. Just in praying, it's, it's funny when you're writing music because when God gives you the song, he gives you a new song. And God wants you to have a new song. A lot of times we're singing old songs. And, and, a, and a new song is basically something God's written on your heart, something that you've been through, stuff that you've walked through. When you sing about it, that's a new song. And so Set Me Free was a song that came out of the Word, Psalms 51 again. Restore the joy of my salvation. Restore the joy that I once knew. So basically... That's, that's how these words came together. You see my broken heart And this you won't refuse Now wash me in the flow of your love Before writing this song, I was, uh, you know, on the run, running from God, running from the things that um, he had called me to, and, 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 and I had, you know, heard through prayer of things that I should be doing, and I just disobeyed and uh, completely ran, and uh, hanging out with the wrong crowd and, and, doing, and doing those things of the world. And um, I was uh, riding a street bike and riding it carelessly, and... Um, I crashed uh, and my helmet came off and you know I rolled through two lanes of traffic and basically uh, as my body goes I'm have metal plates in my arm I have metal plates in my face um, and facial reconstruction two different two different times of plastic surgery um, just, I was a wreck. Uh, yeah, it was a near-death experience. I mean, closest to death is you could, you could be. And uh, that got my attention. And, and getting my attention. It wasn't, it wasn't the next day that I wrote this song, but it was uh, a little bit after that is when I was in my Word, and, and this psalm came up, and I was reading Psalm 51. And this, you know, restoring the joy of my salvation. And I really just wanted that joy back. I wanted, because I'd had it, you know, I'd been saved at an earlier age. And, and I knew what it was like to, to be walking with God. I knew the happiness and the joy that it brought and, and, and all those things. But then I just kind of ran from that and kind of just did my own thing. Restore the joy that I once knew. Draw back my broken heart to you. Cleanse me from my guilt and shame And I will glorify your name Cause more of you means less 
of me Invade my life and set me free, God Set me free because of your unfailing love I was a worship leader for nine years and, But my worship was uh, My worship was driven by production and um, I worshipped production. I worshipped. I worshipped worship. And um, I didn't realize. Really, honestly, it's probably being at Covenant and and understanding worship and understanding how. A lot of the leaders at, at Covenant, when they're worshiping, they're not really worried about anything going on. They're not worried about sounds or drums or lights or cameras or production. They're not worried about any of that. And and when I first started coming there, uh, it kind of drove me crazy. It, uh, it doesn't matter. And it's taken me this long at Covenant to... I, that's my stronghold. My stronghold is it's it's what it's what pulls me away from worship when I'm worshiping. When I am worshiping God, something happens. And holy is the Lord who loves me in spite. And holy is the Lord who knows only And holy is the Lord who showed me mercy. And holy is the Lord who set my soul free. I had the whole not white knuckle thing, but you know, I had the whole I knew God was trying to get my attention. Not sure that I just had an argument with my wife in the car or whatever happened, but I just knew that I didn't want to do whatever he was wanting me to do. I didn't want whatever he was offering. And I just kept clamming up. And it wasn't until after worship when Aaron came up and literally said what he said. And then I went, that's me. And I was like, I can't believe that. And then the hands came on me and they were and he said just begin to pray over him and I'm not kidding you I'm still people are praying over me and I still get my eyes up to listen to the music and to listen to what they were doing on stage because I either heard a flat note or something happened and I literally was like still trying to be distracted my stronghold Again, it's perfection. My stronghold is good quality. And I'm still looking up. And all of a sudden, the lights go out. Pitch black. And I thought, all right. And I put my head back down. It's him getting my attention. Once again, I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying... I'm trying, trying to get to you. And restore the joy that I once knew. Draw back my broken heart to you. Cleanse me from my guilt and shame. And I will glorify your name. Because more of you means less of me. Invade my life and set me free, God. Set me free because of your unfair.